hello everyone welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will learn how to configure wordpress install wordpress and how we can integrate elementor plugin okay so first step will be how to set up wordpress on our local system second step so we will be basically going through the steps so that uh, we cannot miss any steps so second step will be set up integrate elementor plugin third step play with elementor plugin so before these steps uh, you must make sure that you must have installed xamp software in your on your local system so to download xamp you can just uh, visit on the xamp website so you can simply write it down xamp download click on this link so install the software depending on your operating system like i have windows operating system in my system so i have already installed in my computer so i will not go ahead with this so i will just uh, go with the first step so i will be showing that how you can set up wordpress on our on your local system so to proceed you need to visit wordpress website which is wordpress.org it's called as .org so here you can simply download the latest version just click on the get wordpress button now here click on the download wordpress so what it will be doing it will just download the latest version on your local system so let's wait until it downloads okay so now we can see that uh, our wordpress is installed here so i will just simply go to so i can see that here it's it's written on wordpress iphone 5.4.2 in a bracket 2 is written because uh, i have already installed the wordpress version on our in my system so i will just copy i have uh, example installed on my system so i have integrated a different uh, file location so it's basically so oops sorry okay so now we can have just paste there's a file here we need to just extract this okay so we'll just delete this zip file go inside this folder just to control x just copy cut cut sorry just paste it here and delete this folder okay so now we have the files here so we can see what this files so what needs to do more just visit 
actually if you can see that it's been www.wordpress.cc is basically i have installed a desktop server on my system so it is a software which runs a wordpress platform so if we, if i go to www.wordpress.cc We can see that here I, I cannot uh, see this dot wordpress dot cc if I just rename it like this and uh, just paste like this so you can see that the site can't be reached so what I have done for to run SAM software basically i have installed the desktop server which is from server press so uh, basically you can just visit to the server press.com so from here you can simply download this desktop server and install on your system so what this software does it's basically install all the xam requests to run php basically for wordpress so if you can see here desktop software makes your local installation of wordpress as easy as simply giving your site and even clicking a few buttons so i have already done that so if you want you can install desktop server else you can just simply download the xam software uh, which i told at the beginning in this tutorial okay so I will be now opening my desktop server so it's okay so now I will just click on the next I will it will what it will do it will just start web and database services which is XAMPP and uh, PHP my admin which is my SQL okay done click on next okay so what we need to do here is we will just create a new development website for our wordpress so we will install there so if we just so, so now here we can uh, do some nice nice things like desktop server already offers you to just download a wordpress zip file from there directory from wordpress site so we will be doing here like www.wordpress.dev.cc and i will just select a non wordpress so we will installing manually and if you would like to install from their link so you can just simply select WordPress 5.3.0 so it will install automatically install in this site link so remember that this is not a word online link this is just a local link local yes and the path for this link is see user site in sites so I have already created this folder now simply blank non wordpress site and click on this yes overwrite okay now it will create source folder virtual host and server name entries some internal functioning the software is doing okay now we can see here now just go to next all right so configuration completed you can now finish your desktop what the setup please specify title username so okay so now we will just visit so now we can see here welcome to your website this is the default index page of your website so go to your folder here you can see this index file 
So what we again now to do, need to do is we'll just copy this WordPress, go to again, delete this index file, just paste it here and extract all the files here. Alright, just delete this folder, no need now go inside this folder just copy all these files and paste it in here and delete this wordpress folder now okay so now we can see all wordpress files we can see here now if we just simply reload the page we can see something change here all right and now we can, we can see this so it's basically a setup config basically we need to set up wordpress so we simply click on the continue okay let's go so here you can do such things like uh, what is the name of your database name so i will just remain it is as like it is wordpress so here i can i will change to root username password i will keep it as blank make sure if you are hosting your website and, and, and any domain so there must be a password and on your local system you can just keep it as blank okay this is all right good i will just click on submit can't select database now you can see that can't select database why is it why i am showing you like uh, we are going through the errors because you can better understand that how we can such resolve such things because it can happen when we, uh, by when you will be doing like these things okay so no problem just I will just visit on localhost slash so this is the URL of our database basically uh, simply so we can see here these are the database what we need to do is we need to create a wordpress database okay create great oh, we have created a wordpress database so what now we will try again okay yeah all the settings are good error establishing database connection this either means that username and password in your config file is incorrect or we can't all right that's our tool now we can see that again here it's a problem why is it so because whenever you manual install doing a manual installation so you make sure that this file just copy the content of this file and uh, create one more file here like this just paste it here and save it as wp in the same path i will just copy this path here and just go to the same path so you have to save this file the name wp hyphen config dot php all right so now we can see here and we can add it with the notepad so here you can see tab name what was that wordpress user root db password we keep it as blank all right now we have done our settings now just simply reload this page wp file config.pg file already exists if you need to reset any configurations you may try installing now ok fine alright good now we have uh, good things working here now site title simply you can write it down if you are building uh, restaurant website you can write it down like such title 
I will just simply here uh, my title will be keep learning all right okay just simply admin password will be admin confirm user of as since I have been just uh, installing this WordPress on my local system so I will be using very weak password that's fine but if you are installing WordPress on your domain so please make sure that you should have a strong password it's this one all right now just click on install wordpress so it will now installing wordpress okay but now you can log in from here so simply right admin as a username and password as admin okay get now we have wordpress installed on our local system so if we just go to the first steps so we can see that first step is already done so we will just mark it as done so that we should know that we have done this step now switching to the second step which is integrate elementor plugin so if you have not heard about elementor plugin no problem you can just visit to your website just type elementor plugin and go to their website elementor.com so this is a very nice plugin it's basically a page builder it gives you uh, amazing tools amazing widgets that you can create a very nice websites just simply drag and drop and it can do more and more for you it's basically a nice extension so i will be installing this extension on our local system and see how it works we will be playing with this extension but not very much more because that will i will explain my other tutorials so basically in this tutorial we are just learning that how we can install wordpress and how we can install elementor plugin okay so cool as of now well, now let's go to our website have just installed wordpress okay so this is basically a dashboard of wordpress admin so here you can see some cool things here like dashboard home updates yeah, if it's showing that one updates uh, let's see first of all what is the update you have the latest version of wordpress feature security updates will be applied automatically last checked on this install now if you need to install version you can do so here okay if you would like to up update your wordpress you can but make sure that before updating your wordpress make a backup of wp admin wp content wp includes yeah these are the important folders but i will just skip this part and working fine so let's go to all post okay so i can see that hello world i will just delete it no need of no need to use this just apply up to trash okay uh, delete it from trash also okay now no post there it's looking something clean now simply go to all pages we can see these two pages by default just delete these pages just move to trash no need and delete permanently from trash also cool. simply just clean now now we are going to integrate to implement our second step so once you click on this plugins you can see here two plugins which comes built up with the wordpress installation so no need to uh, 
actually we don't need to do these plugins no need to i mean no need to do any work with these plugins so just delete both of them okay all right we can see now neat and clean here now we will have to install elementor plugin so we will just click on add new from here simply simply type here elementor in the search box so you will see here elementor page builder just click on install now uh, we need to wait for few minutes not for a few minutes for a few seconds Installing. You can just visit this local host slash php my admin so we can just see here a number of database so these are the database which is like information schema mysk performance schema php my admin test so these are the default database which comes within the php my admin okay now go back to here okay all right it has been installed now we just need to activate this plugin oh great now we are here okay so we can see that elementor has been installed you can see here the elementor menu has come up so here we can see the sub menu settings role manager tools system info getting started get help custom fonts custom icons all these things so welcome to elementor it's just if you need to look you can just visit their first video so basically i will just close this and just visit one by one so elementor settings so these are the general settings post types that are automatically checked at where element will be seen disable default colors <coughs> from here you can just disable default colors which element offers default default fonts which element offers improve element using data sharing yes style you can just simply give some styling here content width of what will the content width for elementor pages of all these settings simply these are the advanced css print meta from external file or internal embedding how would you like to integrate your css through elementor switch ele editor loader mode disable enable roles manager if we just go to role manager see they are the role manager no access to editor so these are the roles to which you can just simply uh, assign simply assign permission that uh, whosoever can uh, use this element plugin okay, this is the tools so regenerate css style set in element are saved in css files and load you can simply regenerate files here sync library you can sync real library elementor library so there are much more safe mode you can also enable safe mode you can also enable this debug bar so that you can see that what issues are coming replace control so there are number of such things which you can if you see you can enable maintenance mode coming soon so you can access see there are this lot of features system info will show your system info that operating system see software what software you are using what mysql version you are using php version all these things all uh, configurations all and other features are also like that custom fonts getting started so you can go one by one and if you are having a problem to understand all these features you can simply write it down on the comment box and asking me the questions so that i can help you in a better way all right now just play i will we will playing few such things with elementor that we can see that how elementor is working okay let's create one page and
call it as a home page all right next 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 get started okay home publish publish all right so we have created so now click on this here on the left so we can see that home page i have before proceeding uh, i would like to tell you that uh, some settings are uh, change here so under settings just click on the ready so here you can see that at your home page displays your latest post so it will show your posts so we need to show our static page which was which is home page or like just click on save changes fine cool now go to your pages all right just add it to your page now you can see here add it with elementor click on this get cool now we are here and we can see this elementor tools here so there are number of categories actually the elementor community there are so many developers who are developing day by day and uh, they are creating uh, very nice widgets for our use so these are the categories like basic category pro category general category site category woocommerce wordpress all these are the categories in the pro categories it's basically a paid version so i will uh, let you know in the later tutorial that how we can use this yeah okay so now let's learn something about this element so we can see here lots of things are here so in the very first uh, that it's not possible to understand everything so you can see default colors so you can just change default colors for your site from here okay so before proceeding uh, we will uh, actually we can see here that keep learning title is showing the subtitle home um, so we don't need that we just need a blank page so we can design it very nicely so what we will be going here doing here click on the settings in the below just click on the settings page layout you can see the page layout it's been default so you will just need to select element of canvas let's wait for a few milliseconds all right now you can see the blank page and update this page oh nice okay now we have a tool so what basically is elementor plugin does it's just we need to drag and drop like this let's see if we just uh, drag and drop here it will just create a section here to for us to just uh, integrate the things so it's so basically it's totally a non programming work and very easily you can create a, such attractive websites so for we will be now just playing it now let's see in our in one website what there are the things like header footer content so what we will be making here is like a header now we will just click on this all right or see uh, we can create like okay first let's complete this okay so uh, i will do this again okay just click on this now it is asking select your structure okay so we need to column structure because in the first one we will be showing logo and in the other one <coughs> we will be making some menu navigation menu let's say headers so many things are there so as of now in this tutorial i will be showing you like this okay oh so electricity is uh, gone no problem i will just read this column we will just 
see if you need to if you need to show heading we can see here that is a nice heading you can just simply change this title here uh, like you can simply for now can just simply do this thing welcome to home page and you can change the size small medium you can change the HTML tag alignment make it center link you can just uh, add a link here now go to style you can see here text color so we can change the text color C these are the various of there are with several options for the colors like this typography you can just increase the size you can change the font family C or you can change the one we like I like the poppins and you can just increase the size from here if you, you can just simply do this thing do this like way or you can just simply type a number here like 50 all right weight font weight you can give here 700 800 whatever like this so I will just keep it as default in my case transform uppercase so there are many style options here so Elementor provides you style C normal italic oblique decoration underline overline line through so this was the heading basically now creating other section to show you uh, some other tools okay so like heading like inner sections see you can choose inner sections like this this is whole inner sections this automatically gives you a two columns like this okay so in a one column you can something like that there is a text editor just drag and drop it here here you can just create a nice content whatever lower, so there are so many styles like this so there are so many tools so we can see here intersection heading image text editor video button so if i will be covering each and every widget here so it, this video will be a very very long video and uh, the video like around one hour two hour it's very much potchy for the user to watch for long time so i will not keep this video very long so that you can just cover in your less time and the other tutorials i will be showing you explaining each and every widget that how it works okay so we are done with our second step so we will mark it as done third step i have already covered we have played with elementor plugin with the heading with a text editor like this so if we just update this page we can how it looks in the you can just click on the preview changes also to see how it looks so right as of now we have just uh, playing with the widgets oh, we are not doing a proper way that how we can do it yes we will be covering all these things in uh, other tutorials and i will be showing you how to create a very attractive sexy website through this nice elementor plugin so as of now for this tutorial it's far enough all right okay for more videos please do like and subscribe my channel so that i can provide you more and more and more learning and we can always learn Keep learning. Thank you guys.